everybody. Glad to have you come back. Glad to see you with us today. We're excited because we're going to be doing a triptych and we have a 11 by 14 along with two 9 by 12 canvases that have already been wrapped with tape underneath. Um, I've gone ahead and put the base coats down, which is the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black and the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, which I mixed together to make this beautiful gray. I had um, seen this video using this color combination, which I made a little tweak to by Canela Sis Roscoe, who's on the, uh, who's in Canada and she does an amazing job with the Dutch pours. I love what she's doing in terms of sharing her information and I've taken this idea from her. So I wanna give her credit for that and thank her for all the wonderful things she does to ensure that we are successful with acrylic painting. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, this is Anita White with Love Your Art and we're happy to have you join us today. We encourage you to subscribe, like, and comment um, on our videos. So to get started, I want to go ahead and just check this one area here, a little low on some paint there. I will go back and make sure that all the sides are nicely covered and that the paint is pretty even all the way through. But to begin with, I want to make sure we pop all the bubbles. And um, it's important to do that. I see a little specks on a few little specks in there. You want to get any imperfections out of your canvas be as much as possible before you start. The um, critical thing, of course, is to level your canvas before you take and put any paint on them. And I did that in advance with the leveler. And I have made sure, like I said, that the bottom is taped so that we can have a clean back once it's completed. So, with that in mind, we're going to talk about the color combination in just a second here. And the colors we're using today are the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black, along with the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. Um, I'm adding to my com color combination some Artist Loft Metallic Purple, along with the Liquitex Basics Prism Violet. I am also putting in Amsterdam permanent blue violet, deco art metallic sterling silver, the Liquitex Basics portrait pink, and finally I think I'm going to use the Pebio Studio Argent Iridescent. It's sort of a silver color too. Those are not the colors that Canela used, there's some of the colors she used, but I've added a few colors of my own. I'm gonna move this a little closer. Like so. And I'll start with going across and doing just a stream of black. On top of that, we'll have the Artist Loft White. Again, these two colors were used to create the gray base that you see here, just the black and the white. And all the colors have been mixed with Floetrol and water. And if you want to see my color combination for how I mix my paints, please comment below. This is the Liquitex Prism Violet. Adding that right to the top of the 
metallic purple. On top of that, you have the Amsterdam permanent blue violet. It's a beautiful color. Throw in some metallic sterling silver. Some Liquitex Basics Light Portrait Pink. And last but not least, the Pebio Studio Ar Argent Iridescent. Just sort of like a silver. Okay. And we want to torch our bubbles on that. And I'm going to add just a little more paint here to give it an opportunity to flow a little better. Sometimes I add by flooding, call it flooding, by adding additional paint before I blow it. Sometimes I don't. We'll try it this way. Let's try going on high. This combination has really, really impressed me. Here we had a little bit of um, thickness of paint, so it didn't spread as far, but the color combination is just beautiful. I'm gonna try to pull some more, some paint down this way, a little bit more to make this come down and level a little bit more here in this area. So let's go back with, um, few more of the colors we used here. That's the metallic purple. On top we have the prism violet, the Amsterdam. I love the way the cells are coming through. You can see the black and the white. And the light portrait pink is coming through as well. Just a bit of each of these. And I'll go back to where I started with the black here and the white. Let's see if we can't blow some of this a little further down. Adding a little bit more gray because again, this was a little thin or thick, I should say, and uh, didn't flow as well. See what happens here. Okay. Let's try it. Let's 
Still not thrilled about that. I like the fan look that this gives me. So if I don't like something, it's important for me to take care of it right away. So what I'm going to do is take this particular piece and I'm just going to take and remove color from here. Let's see if we can't do this one again. It's important to try and work with your pieces and get them to work with you. Especially if you don't like it right away while it's wet as soon as you can. Make the determination to scrape it. Nothing wrong with scraping it. You can make it yours. Just remember to do top and sides. And let's just pour some on here really quick. I'm going to take and use my blow dryer this time. Once again, I'll come back to those colors that we used for these other two, same order, starting with black. that almost dropped out of my hand. Let's go with the black right across there. The our sloth white on top. And we have the metallic purple. Let's see if we can get it a little bit more way over there. Prism violet. And Amsterdam's permanent blue violet. Uh, then we have the sterling silver, I believe. Then the light portrait pink. And ending with the heavy old studio iridescent silver. Torch the bubbles. Got paint all over me here. Okay, and now we can try to see where we go from here. Much better. I like that than it the first time. We have a little something here. I'll take a popsicle stick and pop that bubble there. Eyes look nice, beautiful color. That's what we did there. Didn't notice that. Some of the paint smeared over that, so what we'll do is take our finger, see if we can't fix that up a little bit. I'm liking it a lot. In particular, they're all kind of going the same direction. And it's interesting because there's a spot of black here, and a spot of black there, and a teeny tiny spot of black there. 
Just a dot. Very interesting how that came out. Let's see here. Negative space here in the opening on both sides and at the bottom on the top sides, very much alike. Now, what we want to do is take the popsicle stick and go underneath and capture any of the excess paint because that's what happens with the paint moving. As long as it's having a place to go, it will travel. And when it travels, it takes away from your design. So in order to keep the integrity of your design, you want to be sure to capture excess paint. I will come back later if you need to do this several times. As long as the paint is moving, you need to come back and go underneath the canvas, taking in any of the excess paint from underneath. Being careful to not touch the other canvas which is always a challenge. But you want to get on the inside as well as the outsides. And again, like I said, I'll come back and revisit this again because as it's starting to dry, the paint will shift and that can cause for some unfortunate changes in your design if you don't try and capture the moving paint that's underneath as soon as possible. So for now, let's pull them back together. Those are pretty matchy. And here's matching pretty good as well. So I'm going to bring you down and let you get a closer look at what we have going on here. There's some beautiful cell development, lacing, and um, color combination is Really, really pretty, very pretty on this gray. My hands got full of gray paint, so I'm trying to clear some of the paint off before I bring the camera over and uh, give it a chance, you a chance to see how close, how we look close up. Beautiful cells. Love the combination. So let's see what happens here. Tiles on the floor. Bring it down. Here's the first nine by twelve. If you can see, beautiful cell composition there. Moving it all the way up, down the side here, beautiful. Look at that awesome colors. Pink mixed in with the different purples, the black outlining it, it's gorgeous. Yeah. I am liking this. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay. This again is a 11 by 14 on the centerpiece of this triptych. And then we have two 9 by 12s to accompany it on the sides. So there you have it. Beautiful piece. Gives us an opportunity to show each of these canvases up close. If you're interested in this piece, just email me at Anita White, love your art at gmail.com. And with that, I will say thank you to everyone for joining me again today. If you have not, please like and subscribe.